Hey guys, it is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week of, uh, it's October 7th already. Oh my goodness. Time flies when you're having fun. October is just so festive and it's just leading up. I feel like from now until Christmas, it's just, oh, and then even New Year's. Now until New Year's, it is just like bam, 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 bam. Activities, there's school stuff going on with the kids. I'm just um, so busy. And I'm sure everyone is super busy this time of year because of all of the festivities and school's back in session. And it's just, it's just crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm in a new vehicle. I finally got a new vehicle, so I am super stoked. I, it took me a while. I was shopping around, which you should do. You should definitely shop around. It is Frappe Day, which is perfect because I am going to get a Frappe today. Definitely going to get a Frappe today. It's crazy how, wasn't it last week where they had two coffee days? One national, one international, and now it's Frappe Day. They're really pushing the coffee. And I also think because it's starting to get into the colder weather months, which you wouldn't think here because I think it's like, what, 90 degrees outside? It's in Florida, it's 90 degrees outside. But because traditionally in other parts, in most of the states, it is getting colder this time of year. So they're pushing the warmer weather beverages, which I think it's cool. Like, but a frappe can be cold, so I'm totally getting a colder frappe. The frozen kind. It's really, but the whipped cream and the caramel drizzle. Oh yeah, I'm totally doing that. It's also Canadian Beer Day, and I actually got a little history lesson today. So in the first, the first record of brewing in Canada was in one of the French, New New France region. So on the east side, and it was in 1646, but they didn't really take off Canadian beer didn't really take off and expand until 1980 and now supposedly it's really awesome but I can't say that I've ever had any so but that's gonna change I'm going to have some this weekend I'm gonna get some I'm gonna have some and we'll see how it is um, my favorite beer is Yingling I love Yingling but that's an American beer it's out of Pennsylvania Pottsville Pennsylvania but I don't know, I just love it. And um, when I'm drinking beer, now I have other preferences, like I prefer wine, but when I'm drinking beer, that's the beer. What about you guys? What beers do you prefer? Or what adult beverage do you prefer? Leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and hear what, what do you guys enjoy drinking? Have you had Canadian beer? Is it good? I don't know. I will have some this weekend though and then I'll let y'all know. <laughs> It's also Random Acts of Poetry Day. But you know what? I'm not a poet and I know it, so let's see what I did there. <laughs> I really I'm not good at poetry. I do write. I like to write fan fantasy. Um sci-fi fantasy. I like to write what I read, which I think most people who read a lot do the same thing. They like to write what they read, which is what I read. Fantasy and sci-fi. And I've read, I've written a couple novels, but I never fully edited them, which is the hardest part. Any writer will know that once you get it down on paper, written, that's like maybe 25% of the actual process of writing a book. The other 75% of it is the biggest headache known to mankind. And by the time you're done with it, you probably hate what you've done because you've had to go over the same plot line over and over and over again kind of just like massaging it and fixing little errors in um, past and present tense and in person and this person and oh my goodness so ah see I don't have the right tools to do this camera shot thing so <laughs> bear with me I will get the proper tools but right now because my my, my phone holder was in the AC vent but now my AC vents are slotted this way, so it doesn't it doesn't fit. So now I just sit on top of the dash. So whenever I go, my phone wants to, yeah, gravity. It's crazy. 
<laughs> but it's Wednesday, guys. I hope you guys make the best out of it. Make some awesome plans for this weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.